Hello, Cancerians. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you real life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, and subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. <coughs> Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any of the magical purposes and deviation working through things of that nature. So, let's see what's going down to my Cancerians. You know, I have not forgotten about you for the month of October. So, spiritual, welcome into this reading. A sage for the gods. One more time for my cancer. Okay, let's see what's going on with the magical messages from the fairies, and then we'll be getting into the romance angels. <clears throat> you know my usual motherfucking lineup. Thank you for tuning in. So here we go. Magical messages from the fairies. Love life. The basis of your question involves a romantic life, which is now changing for the better cancerians. So your love life is definitely changing for the best. You could have been waiting for this, okay, waiting for this moment. Also, flower power, baby. <laughs> Spend time with flowers and flower essences by increasing your personal healing power. So you could be in nature, okay, smelling the roses, planting your gardens, okay, dealing with nature is what I'm seeing here. Also, new career. Your work focus is shifting in a positive and new successful direction, Cancerians. So your new career or a new path is definitely going in the right direction if you've been wanting to know those answers for that. Looks like it's here, Cancerians. Okay. Let's see what's going on with the Romance Angels, and then we'll go from there. Romance Angels for Cancerians in the month of October up in this bitch. Children. Your love life is being affected by children, Cancerians. So, in your life, your children could be the main factor, the priority. Okay, they could be influencing a lot of things in your love life. Also, it is safe for you to love, Cancerians. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So, open your heart, darlings. Listen to your heart. <laughs> So, get that is listen to your heart. Get out there and flirt with somebody, honey. Okay, send your lighthearted energy to others, baby. You might need to get out there, talk to some other people. Now, for some of you can't say things, you really could be addicted to this person or addicted to finding out things with them, okay? It's definitely affecting um, your romantic life, all right? So, with that being said, let's see what's going on between you and your partner. I do see here you need to pay attention to those red flags as well because somebody definitely could be on some, some dirty dating, okay? Some dirty dancing. All right. So, four of wands energy off the top, okay? I feel between um, you and this person, you're taking care of your financial matters, also your stability. This is dealing with your children, taking care of them, making sure they are well taken care of, well spoken for, okay? Now, with this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you are trying to hold and attain that coin in your hand, okay? You could be surrounding yourself with nature as well, with the Queen of Pentacles, or just overall getting your hands on tangible things with that Queen of Pentacles, being able to actually make things come into fruition is what I'm seeing here, okay? Now, the situation between you and them, I feel like in this um, codependent relationship is definitely something that could be keeping you up at nighttime. Okay. I also feel like, you know, this could be giving, you could be fighting off the beast, trying to think of these things that are surrounded by you in your environment. Okay. That this person could be bringing, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of justice energy, or you could be making a final decision. You definitely could be dealing with a Libra, also Aquarius energy here with the star. Okay, so I do feel between you and your person, you're wanting these renewals, but you're also wanting this, uh, I won't say revenge, but I will say that you're really definitely thinking of moving forward, okay? You could have revenge on the, in the back of your mind, 
for some of you guys, especially with this justice energy, I feel like things you want things to be even. Will of Fortune, Justice, Star Energy is telling me you're coming into a new term, a new plan of action, a new process is what I'm seeing here, Cancetians. So I feel um, <clears throat> in the situation between you and them, it definitely could be a third party uh, involved or you feel like this person is trying to get you involved in a third party. <laughs> Excuse me, due to their instability is what I'm seeing here with the Emperor and also with the King of Wands coming in reverse. This person is not able to bring in that stability that you're wanting, Cancer. Okay, this person has a lot of player like qualities, like I said, with the Three of Pentacles. Could be that someone is ready for commitment, but they have a lot of things in the air that they have, you know, on a build up or they'll build it, or they are building up towards a third party situation. This person definitely could be greedy taking what it is that they want. Okay, so be aware of that. But I feel uh, in this situation between you and them, someone is definitely wanting to leave away. But you're also kind of wanting to detach yourself. Or you could be detaching yourself from this person. Because I feel like this is you, Ken Seti. And a lot of you guys, you know, are coming out of your shell with that uh, page of pentacles. You know, it could be some messaging or just back and forth. But you're also detaching yourself. I do feel in this situation you want to definitely uh, turn your back on it, leap away from it, concentrate on your families, okay? Concentrate on um, your uh, commitments and your offers. But I feel with this four of um, cut energy here that some of you guys have definitely fallen out of love with this person is what this codependency is all about. You know, it could be holding on to a circumstance, holding on to emotions with this person, but not even having a value or feeling like you want to value the relationship, you know, as it once could have been before. So uh, I do feel between you and them, there's definitely this situation of someone who needs to work on their characteristics, work on their value uh, separately. But with this uh, lover's energy, I feel like you're in two minds about it. Or, you know, a twin could be coming out. Uh, or you could be facing the dualities between both characteristics is what I'm seeing here. How they feel about you is they're definitely trying to let go of this situation, but they're also holding on to the things from the past. Could be some sexual energy here with this devil. <clears throat> but I feel with this four of pentacles coming in reverse, it's not really a stable relationship that you would, you know, typically think societal-wise that this person would, um, you know, come together. They're definitely of different character. Okay. Now, I feel like this person definitely has some demons they could be holding on to. Could be some things from the past is how they view you. But I'm also seeing here that there could be a lot of sexual tension going on um, between you and this person. You got the five of swords and the devil right along with the king of pentacles. Somebody is really trying to take care of their, they could be in between taking care of their family matters, taking care of their financial matters, you know, being more of themselves or being of service to themselves. But also somebody is definitely uh, being influenced by sexual energy is how they feel about you. Um, they're definitely knowing that they're, they are spying on you. Okay. So this person definitely is spying on you due to the truth. Okay. They feel like you already know the truth that you could be spying on them because you know the truth already and that you know they're probably getting ready to have some fucking lies come out of their mouth. Okay. So if this person is definitely being deceptive, that could be with that codependency and also those red flags are that you needing to pay attention to that it could be just a sexually based relationship or someone is really not taking it as serious as you would expect them to. Now, I do feel with this nine of pentacles, I definitely feel you are in your independence. You're getting a peace of mind. You're surrounding yourself with what serves you. Okay. Um, I do feel you're, they're wanting, they feel like you could be wanting to end this situation overall because things aren't all the way clear or that you're healing away from this because you didn't even need closure with a motherfucking ass. Okay. So, uh, what you don't see is that this person definitely is letting go of a third party situation. They could be trying to combat this energy or multiple parties off of them. Um, this could be you as well. You know, having a lot of people that are in your um, circle that you could be trying to fight off. They could be people that you're dating, things of that nature. But I feel like you're definitely in this void of like wanting to let go of a third party situation, but also still trying to keep your options open. Okay. And not trying to put or invest too much of your emotions in it. So, Kansadians, I feel like you could be, like I said, on some revengeful type shit, or this person could be on revenge. 
Okay, or this person definitely has a lot of characteristics of narcissism is what I'm seeing here, Ken Zeddy. And so be aware of that. You have the magician energy, the queen of cups. Definitely a little fucking manipulator. All right. Or this could be you, Ken Zeddy. It's however the cause may lay. But I do see here that there's someone who's at a distance um, is what you don't see. There are definitely someone who could be moving away because of the tricky energy. This looks to me like this could be you who's moving away. Okay, you're not even wanting to stay in anything that has you involved on a secondary level. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? So five of wands, moon energy. I feel like if this person continues to be mysterious or deep or has a lot of people that is uh, in their overall aura, like you guys are going to give them the fucking boot is what I'm seeing here, um, especially if their emotions aren't all the way invested. I see you detaching, okay? You being delicate, but also at the same time, bitch, don't, don't play me, okay? That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to play these emotional games. So um, I do feel in their intentions, they're wanting to draw an action towards you with the Knight of Cups. Okay, they want to message you, send messages out there, shoot some shit out there. There could be someone new coming in with this Knight of Cup energy. Um, definitely someone that you want to message or send some new uh, vibes out to. Okay, this person could be a drinker as well. But I do feel like someone is... Um, Kind of detaching themselves from either from either trying to make a situation be forced, okay, and also you know waiting to see this action or waiting to see this person come out of that straight up pop pop mode. I feel like uh, what's coming towards you is that there's definitely someone who wants a new beginning with you with this Empress energy. Also, ten of motherfucking pentacles. So, Cancerians, a lot of you guys, um, what could be coming towards you is really somebody who is um, trying to bring on a new energy, a new vibe, okay? So let's see this person's intentions, or this could be an older person that you've been dealing with, um, you know, for quite some time. Let's see their intentions. Yeah, Knight of Cups energy here and a whole nother deck. So this person wants to come towards you for the month of October, Kensetians, okay? I'm also seeing here... Um, there could have been someone who had a third party situation, possibly Leo Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I do feel like, um, there's someone who's not really, who's resisting this love. They could be needing to patch up their heart, but I feel like there's some information or some news that you feel this person isn't really like being as serious as you are or taking things the way that you expected them to. So I have the 10 of cup energy here. I feel in their intentions, they're wanting some sort of relationship here. Okay, or they're wanting to sh send out some news towards you. You got the Ten of Cups, also the Page of Wands. This person is definitely wanting to come towards you. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, they could be kind of immature, but they could be that person who's very charismatic, very handsome, okay, very beautiful. Keeping that young energy. Now, with that Page of Wands, I feel like this person wants to get out and make an action. Okay, it could be that they're thinking of actions with this page. That causes them to um, definitely feel as though they're making some quicker decisions um, without telling you is what I'm seeing here. So definitely be aware of that. Um, I do see here, I'm going to have to get some uh, flies of water. I do feel like this person is being very mysterious towards you and their intentions with this moon energy. You could be dealing with a uh, Pisces, also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm seeing here that this person is definitely keeping things mysterious where you feel like this person doesn't have much to offer because he could be he or she could be thinking of things um, elsewhere. OK, but I feel like there's a final decision that's made. Um, let's see, because I feel you're afraid of these offers not coming in. Ace of Pentacles coming in reverse. Also, seven of cups. So someone making a final decision but not making an offer is definitely what I'm seeing here. Let's see who's lying. Because it could be that person that's coming towards you. That's a price of Scorpio here. But I feel like um, you were carrying a lot of weight that caused you anxiety at one point in time. You have the Ten of Wands and also the Nine of Swords. So I'm seeing here um, uh, there's definitely... I feel like there's definitely this vibe of someone not giving in their emotions. Okay, they could be concentrating on work, but I feel like they're keeping a lot of people uh, at bay. That's what I'm seeing here, Ken Sadie, is this person could be trying to, like, 
you know, manipulate their work situation by saying, oh, I'm working, but they're still like trying to keep other people at bay. They're lying about their time that they're spending and also hanging on um, to a situation with the hangman energy here at Kansanians. Also with the death energy, could be dealing with a Scorpio, someone who said that there was some sort of renewal that was closed out or could have been an ex that was closed out. But I do feel like they're lying about communication with the Ace of Swords. Okay. It could be uh, lying about, you know, the information that they're um, dishing out to you. So be aware of that. Also, Ace of Cups, okay, coming in reverse. They're lying about offering love or having a love offer as security here. Like I said, keeping people at bay. So um, be aware of that energy. Um, I am seeing here, um, it's like someone feels like they have to turn their back on the situation because they're definitely. Um, being dishonest. They could be lying about communication as well or making the board movement. Um, but I do feel like since this is you, can't say it with this chariot energy, a lot of you guys are making forward movement, even though you could be blocking communication with this person due to having a lot of people or just overall having to turn your back on some shit that doesn't suit you. Okay. So let's see. Um, whoever is coming towards you, they definitely want commitment. They definitely want some sort of success here. Okay. It could be that you guys are um, dealing with a lot of cameras, live camera action up in this bitch. It could be with the Six of Wands that you're coming in with a victory. There could be some someone who's famous here or someone who's definitely in the limelight. But I feel like this person is coming towards you with some sort of commitment, okay? But they're also detached. They're wanting to come together but be detached. So it could be like in different living quarters, in different living uh, spaces, but they're also wanting to bring this together, okay, with the world energy is what I'm definitely seeing here. They are spying on you with this page of swords once again. So a lot of spying, okay, people that um, are definitely, they're definitely watching you, Tensetians. It could be that they're watching your success. They're definitely spying on you overall. But I feel with this page of cups that just fell out, um, this person is bringing a lot of immature type of energy, but also at the same time, they're trying to bring you some sort of offer. They could be... Um, Definitely, I mean, this could be children as well because I have a judgment energy. So I am feeling like um, for some of you guys, there's definitely just this vibe of having to close this overall energy out and balancing your security. You could be seeing the overall picture with the judgment energy, okay, for what it is. So if you are single, I feel a lot of you guys are really in tune. Okay, it could be scaring people away too with this high priestess energy because she can't scare people away from being all the way in the truth and in the knowing. But I feel if you are single, you're definitely taking care of your business here, but also at the same time, you could be scaring people away from being in the knowing. Some of you all could be a terror reader yourselves with that high priestess energy. Also, Queen of Wands, definitely a lot of witchy energy here, a lot of highly spiritual type of things going on is what I'm seeing here for some of you singles. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman, but it is someone who is bringing on um, this vibe of intensity um, with the Queen of Wands and also with the High Priestess, okay, for some of you singles. It could be that you're already in the knowing to certain people that are uh, that you're seeking out that you're just not really interested in, okay? So if you are single, I definitely feel like there's a final decision towards love or towards someone who is valuing two different things here with the Two of Cups and making a final decision is what I'm saying. Two of Swords, Two of Cups. So this two could be coming into you being single um, or some of you all just are fairly single, fairly new single. But I'm definitely seeing here you guys are kind of stuck in the past with the Six of Cups, stuck on things that, you know, could be working out, feeling like you're still in this vibe of being, um, you know, things are going to be great in the past, but... Looks to me like Cassetti and a lot of you guys will be having support movement with a possible Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, singles. There's definitely somebody who wants some passion uh, coming from you. Okay, so be aware of that. I do feel um, that there's someone who wants to chill, kick it, Netflix and chill, whatever the case may be. You got the Three of Cups. You're going to be in your peace and in your independence, your happiness, okay, celebrating as well. Since, you know, this is for October, you could be coming into new things for fruition for the new harvest. All right, from the equinox. So there is definitely a lot to celebrate. There could be some dates going on with the Cancerians. 
Um, I do feel you're coming out of a third party situation, but you're bringing in a lot of major balance here, okay, with happiness and joy, three of cups and the temperance energy, purifying yourself and being pure about it all, okay, and feeling very clear about what it is that you want. So, let's see about possible outcomes, Confetians. Oh, you got the Empress. Wow. Okay. So there definitely could be something new coming in. Okay. Someone is definitely feeling that vibe of how beautiful you are, how talented you are. Okay. How smart you are with that Empress energy. They're definitely feeling that vibe that you're bringing in this new energy. Okay. You could be that fresh meat. Yes, that is. Could be fresh meat at the job, honey. But I'm definitely seeing here for some of you guys. Um, you are really, really, really letting go of things from the past, okay? That past energy, you just, it's like a vibe you don't even want to get down to. I do feel six of pentacle energy here, also nine of cups. Um, there is someone who is getting their way. You could be having a lot of offers and handouts coming towards you, or someone could be offering you some things here. But I'm definitely seeing with that nine of cups, happiness is coming your way, okay? That could be a family situation that they're talking about. But I'm seeing here um, a lot of you guys could be codependent on your partner's um, time, okay, especially with this King of Wands. So be aware of that. And also turning down offers is what I'm seeing here with the Four of Cups. Kind of being bored with what it is that you do have, okay. And feeling still kind of like you're traumatized a little bit to some things from the past, okay. That could be why you're turning down a lot of um, offers coming your way, all right, because you got the Four of Cups energy here twice in a different deck. Now, I do feel possible outcomes. Someone is definitely being deceptive about an ending. Ten of Swords energy, also seven of, um, seven of Swords. Okay, someone could be plotting and planning a sneak away or a getaway. Could be ending a situation overall. This looks like this could be you, Ken Sedians, but I'm definitely seeing um, you're going to get a lot of clarity coming out of this, but also don't make this situation taint you, okay? Because this person is definitely being deceptive. So be aware of that, all right? Um, I do see here that there's definitely a new beginning coming for you. Could be money situations. You could be coming into a windfall of money as well. Can I say it's a double the fortune, the emperor energy, or someone who could be coming to help bring in that wisdom, okay, and also that guidance. But there's definitely this vibe of somebody who is trying to control their energy and you're going to. But I feel you could be wanting to stop somebody mid-tracks and then coming towards you with that Knight of Wands, okay? But this person definitely wants you to come out of the cold with them, um, even though you're kind of in your independence. Nine of the Four of um, Pentacle Energy here and also Four of Wands. Five of Pentacles as well. So I'm definitely seeing with this Fool... Um, you're not wanting a new beginning. You're not wanting to give this a chance. You could be wanting some balance and security from this person, but they're definitely trying to message you and send some messages out there, even though they're being very deceptive. Could be those red flags and that codependency. Okay, keep your options open if this motherfucker ain't acting right. Okay, can't say it easy. Y'all know how we do. So here we go. We either go into hermit mode or we find uh, the next door, honey. We close, we have the foot in the next door, can't say. So I'm definitely feeling that that could be that vibe. But overall, success is definitely here in forward movement, okay? So if you are dealing with a, um, if you are dealing with an air sign, I feel that this is really, really toxic, okay? I'm also seeing here someone blocking communication, very, very toxic. Someone might want to just, you know, be all motherly and giving shit a chance, okay, with this Queen of Cups. But also, um, it, you're starting to see it's very toxic if you are dealing with an air sign. Definitely getting rid of a third-party situation, possibly can't set in, so be aware of that. If you are dealing with a, another water sign, we got two already. If you are dealing with another water sign, um, I definitely feel like this person is making a final decision, but they're also kind of stuck in the past or they're trying to, you know, keep it pushing from not being so stuck in the past and the bad things that possibly could have happened if you're dealing with a water sign. I'm also seeing here, it could be a sudden change with this tower energy. So get ready for this. Okay. Somebody definitely wants to um, make a sudden change. They could be needing to get out, okay? It also could be that you're shaking things up because you've seen some truth 
or you seeing some shit that you just not really feeling it, all right? You're coming into your power. So if you are dealing with a uh, fire sign, I feel someone is trying to repair themselves or repatch some things here, but they're definitely feeling hurt with this five of swords. I'm also seeing here there could have been multiple people, multiple things that they were trying to get to go their way, but it was quite hard, okay? Like they had a hard time getting it. Now, I do feel with um, this star energy, they could be wanting a renewal process with you or they want to get you next, okay? So <laughs> if you're dealing with a uh, earth sign, I feel like this person's letting go with their party situation. They're definitely wanting to come together with you with the two of pentacles. Okay, they're kind of teeter-tottering back and forth between whether or not um, it's going to be something stable or it's going to come together with that world energy here. Okay, Cancetians, um, I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal read from me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, therosemoon.com. At the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. So, Cancetians, somebody could be pushing you away or somebody is definitely getting away from a situation, okay, that you felt had some sort of value, but it's definitely some differences here, but it's a lot of people coming your direction. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.